If you haven't heard about Lake X in central Florida, well, don't be surprised. Lake X is a 1,400 acre that was purchased in the 1950s by Mercury Marine and was used until recently to R&D and keep their newest motors top secret. Lake X has only been fished a limited number of times, and anglers continue uh, continue to go fish it when they're invited only. Uh, it's as close to an unfished lake as one can find these days, and there is no doubt about that. It is yeah, man. pristine as ever. In recent years, Mercury Marine has moved its operations from Lake X, and now the fishing on Lake X has been left in the, the great hands of the Kenneth Kirchman Foundation, a charitable organization whose purpose is to educate the public, especially children, about Florida's ecology and wildlife. Fishing Florida Radio's webisodes are brought to you by Mosquito Creek Outdoors, your gateway to the outdoors. Hell's Bay Boatworks, makers of the world's finest flat skiffs. Tackle webs, clear your deck for battle. Mud hole, rod building and tackle supplies. Costa sunglasses, see what's out there. We had the opportunity to go out there this week. Yes, thanks to, I get a phone call from Neil Lazarus, is this our how this friend. Yes. And <clears throat> he says, all right, I got it. I got an invite. We would you like to come? And he said you can bring Steve. I said, well, okay, that sounds all right. And we kind of brought it up, right? Last time at Gumbo Palooza. Yes, we had said. So I, I mentioned it to Steve, and sure enough, Steve all of a sudden says, "I challenge you to a fish off." <laughs> how, how long did it take Steve? To Not a friendly. You know, on? this is Fish and Florida Radio. We can't have a friendly day, nice day out there, enjoy the environment. <laughs> Look at this wonderful place, a slice of heaven, what, you know, they, they call it 100 years back in Florida. They're keeping it just like that. They manage all the, you know, they do the burns correctly. They manage the property to pristine. There's deer and turkey everywhere. 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 So, Steve, all of a sudden, you know, instead of having a nice, I'm not gonna, nice I, fruitful day of friendship, fellowship, and hold, I'm, not, I'm not here to hold your hand. He throws down the gauntlet. Hey, <laughs> I challenge you. The Rocky fight scene. It's like a big, yeah. It's like two. It's like a brother. Like you know, you gotta have <laughs> the competitive juices of Steve Chapman came out immediately. Yeah. So, so. I, I said, I instantly said, look, we're well, let's do this right. If we're gonna do this, let's let's go out there and put it down, and throw I ain't down. Scared of a challenge? No, I'm not scared of a challenge. Oh no. So of course I I, I, I put said, my A game together. You know what I said? All right. And right away I recruited Neil. Yes. He's fished out there before. Plus, he gave us the invite, so, you know, I'm in. Yep. And then, of course, the next call was to our friend, the Wikipedia Bass. The Wikipedia Bass. Ken Duke. Who knows more about bass fishing than anyone should know. He knows more about bass fishing than bass do. <laughs> <laughs> he knows every technique that's ever been developed. He's written so many different books. He's, you know, the, the, the senior editor for Bass Publications. Yes. He knows... Every classic that's ever been won, who won it, how he won it. So I'm like, what hey, color underwear they were wearing? Yeah. What bait they used? What was the temperature? What was the you know, the dew points? I mean, he knows everything. So there sure was Team Mike. Boom. Boom, knowledge, experience, scratch both those off the list. Team Mike developed. I go a whole different route, Les. Mike, Mike's early favorite here. Early favorite. I decide. You want to know what? If I'm going to go out there, I want somebody that can fish. Uh, Neil and Ken might know a lot about fishing. I want someone that can fish and not just make five or six casts and have to sit their asses down. I want someone that's going to be able to fish all day, un unstoppable. Who do I go with? I go with Team UCF they're from the Real Knights, Kyle and Hunter. And they're sponsored by Mudhole. And their sponsor does help. They're our sponsor by Mudhole. All right. Then the MHX, MHX rods, blanks mm -hmm. that they did put out. So we got out there yesterday way early. We left Apopka at 5 o'clock, and we all met up there. Whoops, 6.30, 7 o'clock. Gates locked. Uh, we got we got walked in. Uh, but we thought, we want to know what we thought. So, so wait, wait, the game plan is we're yes. going to go out, we're going to fish for a certain amount of time, and then later we're going to meet with the guys from Kurtzman, have a round table and stuff. And... We're going to go ahead and we're going to take our five, aggregate five bass, b the bag together with all the guys fishing. Yes. And we're going to weigh them out. And that's who, who's going to win, right? Whoever has the most weight wins. Seems simple enough. It, it, no, no, no. it can't get any simpler. No, no, no. no. Not enough. 
guys have any knowledge of like no no no, been on it. no so you're still going with Mike's team is winning right not a bad idea <laughs> <laughs> but that's not enough, that's not good enough for us you know this is fish and Florida radio right Steve yeah, we don't just do sh- stuff half ass <laughs> so what do we do <laughs> we decide you want to know what let's bring somebody in who is who is even better than us and what? that's uh, thank you Les that's what we were saying. Someone who has been in on the Elite Series for years, who's been to the Classic, who's going to the Classic this year. Who do we bring in, Mike? We brought in Bobby Lane. Big Fish Bobby Lane. Big Fish Bobby Lane. That's how we do it here in Fish and oh Florida Radio. So we Elite in, Angler. We figured out, you know what? We might need a little help. You're going to have to handle us. So we brought in Big Fish Bobby Lane to give us a little bonus. So he fished and uh, changed out per hour, and so, you know, it helped our bags out, let's just say, a little bit. So we went out there, put our boats in, and we took off. Mike went one way, Mike, Team Mike we went, went one way, and we went They the went other north, way. so we decided to go south. Did the camera boat go? The camera boat was Mike on one, and Mike was, I, I was on the other. We, yeah. And we went and fished for four hours, got our five... Five best fish. Yeah, we got into school fish right fish. away, and we had a good time with that. Yes, I mean it was just there was plenty of fish. Now, what were you casting? Oh, what were you guys casting? <laughs> we were casting cast. something like a Sabeel Magic I Swimmer. Mean, that was a beautiful okay. cast. It wasn't a Magic Swimmer, but it was that, close like, to it. That I, was I, la- the I went through a, a that, whole plethora of Sabeels, but I ended up with a flat shad that looked like. That I left for my me. tackle bag. Here was the issue: I left my tackle bag on Neil's boat, and they didn't bring it back to me. No. We Those almost cads. Neil almost threw it in the water. That's a nice, little <laughs> <laughs> nice little fish. We got a little clip of the video yep. there. Yeah, thank you. I did a little taunting for you. Yes, thank you for taunting. That was our, you know, that was our second spot, so it was pretty early on. Was good. And we did nice something fish, different. We man. started Team off Mike, and baby. instantly Team started Mike, throwing. That uh, That's it. I threw a spinnerbait to start off with, Sabeel and then shed. the boys were throwing right there, baby. Uh, worms, and and we quickly. I could see how Hunter and Kyle are going to succeed in the bass industry because they quickly found out what the what they we wanted to use and then they found exact points on where we needed to fish. And really that came some of it came from me cuz I actually said, "Hey guys, I don't know if you're realizing this, but we're catching all the fish on points." And from then on the ass whooping happened. <laughs> now mind you, we have we have big Big bass, Bobby Lane out there, elite angler. Right, <laughs> didn't catch as much fish as us. Not even close. <laughs> Team Chapman. Uh, we have Rich out there, who's going, who's a Bassmaster, who won the Toho uh, tournament and is going to be going to the Bassmaster Classic this this week. That's right. He runs into schoolie fish and catches four pounder after four pounder after four pounder. Wore him out. Wore him There's out. There's a lot of fish in that lake. Lot of fish. It's fantastic to fish there. Team Chapman still. A lot of Kissimmee grass. It was kind of neat being able to go to around the whole lake because if you notice, every shoreline seemed to have a little bit of a different different way of fishing. A different. Different ones, the eastern shoreline. The, yeah, eastern shoreline had a lot of Kissimmee grass. Yep. To the south, it was lily pads. To yep. the north, it was a little bit deeper edge to it. So it was pretty neat to see all different ones. So we brought our fish out, our five fish, which we had a seven and a half and a couple fives in there. That's, uh, yep. And uh, and we we weighed in 22.38. And then Mike and Neil and their group brought out their bag. Their bag. And they weighed in. Twenty-one, twenty-two. A little bonus, a little Bobby Lane help. Yeah. Then they opened up their bag and jumped out half the water they had in the bag. <laughs> 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 and Team Chapman destroyed. Team Steve destroyed everyone. Uh, uh, take you, that! You, a pl- a <laughs> Where's the applause? You know, the problem is there's so many bass out there. Right. There's a lot of smaller bass, and so you got to kind of weed through them or get lucky that you pop sure. into the, the, you get in front of the right fish. You and, know what and, I mean? And, and Rich House, who's going to the Classic, actually found a school of fish where he caught 30 or 40 in a row casts. Sure. And Bobby got into a school and caught 20 something in a row. They were yeah. all, you know, couple They're all, pounders. Yeah. So it's just a matter of we we didn't find those schools. We found that if you if you found the the 
Kissimmee grass, if you pitched the baits on the Kissimmee grass and swam them onto the top of the water, that you were going to get crushed as you made those, if you hit those points. You were patterning the fish more yes. than finding the schools. They, the other two, three teams all had, all found schools. And if really, if we would have found a school, we would have stuck them out and did it mm-hmm. and, and fished them. That's what we would have done. We didn't find a school. We had a couple times where we saw some shad and the and the bass start annihilating shad, but it was so fast and we were going the opposite direction that we just were like, okay, you want to know it? Let's keep doing what we're doing. We're doing well because the seven and a half pounder. We knew we had big fish. Well, that's why y'all. That's why y'all did better because because the schools are usually similar sized fish, and yes. that's what they were fishing. We were you literally. Were, Y'all were picking off the bigger fish patterning. Yes. We were literally in a spot where for 45 minutes there were bass just flying out of the air, hitting bait all lo- I mean, all over the place. We were just, I mean, it was something, one yeah. of those things that you either, you know, go out. Obviously, we're not fighting for a check, but to go out, we were like, let's just have fun and catch a bunch of fish. These yes. fish were literally doing somersaults out of the water, exploding. It was awesome. And, and really, if you haven't heard about Lake X, well, I don't know where the hell you've been. But it is quite possibly the best, you know, the, the best bass fishing I've ever seen. Uh, in terms of there are four boats, and I bet you between the four boats, boats in four hours, there might have been a hundred, hundred and fifty fish caught, mm-hmm. maybe more. Sounds like there was more. Now you can imagine you've got yeah. this fourteen hundred acre lake, just unbelievable by yourself. Pristine, you know? yeah. You don't have any jet skiers. You don't have anybody wakeboarding anywhere. It's just just you and, and the wildlife. X. My team. X Factor. That's it. <laughs>